What up, my poker peeps? It's the Hatter. And this hand right here is coming from the 50NL challenge we're getting involved in. And we're going to jump right into the hand and see what y'all think about this one. And I'd really like to get some feedback here because it deals with Ace-King preflop. It's all about a preflop decision. And definitely want to get y'all's feedback because, let's face it, Ace-King, definitely a uh, highly debated hand. So we get a limp from under the gun. Under the gun, two folds. Low jack limps, goes to the high jack, he folds. Of course, we're going to go ahead and put in a raise right here. I decide on 375. Goes over to the button, he folds. Small blind, he's gonna go ahead and flat. Now it comes to the big blind, and the big blind decides to squeeze the 15. I mean, he could be doing this light, and in the moment I'm thinking maybe it's light and he's trying to steal because he knows if he can get through me, he might be good, but I don't know with the flatter. Maybe I shouldn't have thought that, but we'll see. So it goes over to under the gun one, he's gonna fold. Low jack folds, and now it's back to me, and this is where we're thinking. So at this point, I definitely not really, I mean, I do, I am in position, so I guess I could call, but in the moment, I'm thinking if I call, the small blind's coming along, and then I'm going with ace-king three ways. It gives the person in the small blind, if they have a pair, a really good price to kind of go after trying to set mine, even though really it ain't that great of a price, to be honest with y'all, but so anyways, I go ahead and decide to go with the high variance route, and I ship it. Tell me what y'all think about that. Do y'all like that? I don't know. I mean, if if it wasn't for the small blind, I think I would just go ahead and flat and play a flop and keep if he does have bluffs in. But I decided to go ahead and rip it in there. I'm trying to run this 10, 50 NL 10K hands up early. So I take the high variance route, as I said before. So the small blind gets out of the way and the big blind's gonna snap me off. And as y'all can see, He's got pocket king, so this is a terrible situation for me. But we're going to a run out here. We're going to get to see all five cards with 102.25 in the pot. Maybe we can go ahead and get lucky and spike an ace. The flop comes 10-4-4. Definitely not the flop we're looking for, but all we need is an ace. Turn comes a king. Now we're drawing dead. Terrible situation, so we're going to go ahead and lose this pot. And a queen comes on the river that doesn't change anything, of course. So y'all give me y'all's thoughts. What do y'all think about this play? Do y'all like taking the high variance route? Should I go ahead and flat and maybe let the small blind in to build a bigger pot just in case we do flop a monster with ace king? Or do y'all think I made the right play? Definitely, definitely interested to see what y'all say here. All right, I'll be waiting y'all's feedback. I'll see you tomorrow. Later, ha hat her out.